Hi everybody, I'm going to do a really quick double review. I'm not going to do my ratings or anything like that, but I'm going to talk about two films that I've watched recently. Before I start, I have three things I wanted to tell you really quick. Um, the first thing is thank you for your comments regarding the upcoming contest. I'm keeping count and, and majority rules, and don't worry, I'm willing to work with you. We'll figure out something that you all like. Um, the second thing I want to tell you is you're probably not going to see me around um, a whole lot in the next week. I've told you I have hyperthyroidism. I've not been feeling well. I have to go in and have to have some more blood taken, which is always fun. And the third thing, oh, good Lord, I am drawing an absolute blank. <sighs> Never mind. Oh, oh I remember my, ki my kids, my kidlets. They're absolutely wild. There was something in the water at school today. If you can hear them, please, I apologize in advance. There you go. They're my three things. So without further ado, I'm going to go into the two movies. I'm going to start with the movie I liked least. That's Funny Games. Um, I'd heard a lot about this movie. I was very kind of intrigued, especially to see the original. Um, and I just, I, I know there are going to people, be people that disagree with me, and that is absolutely fine. But I hated this movie. I couldn't stand it. Um, for those of you who don't want to know any spoilers, fast forward about 30 minutes ahead and I'll save them from you. Um, the reason I didn't like this movie, it starts out with a couple and their child. They have went to a home away from home, their vacation spot. When they arrive, there are two caddies. You quickly learn that they're not all that they seem to be. One of the caddies comes in, asks Naomi Watts' character, the mother, for some eggs. Um, he doesn't leave. He ends up taking her husband's golf club outside and testing it. And when he comes back inside, he wants more eggs because he's broken the eggs he's had. His brother shows up. Uh, they begin to harass her. She tells them to leave. They refuse to do so. Tim Ross shows up, who is the father. She tells them she wants them to leave. Chaos ensues. And here's the thing, okay? Here's why I didn't like it. These fine, upstanding people are not held up at gunpoint. They're not held up at, at not, by a knife or a hatchet or an axe or anything like that. No. These people are cowed by a freaking golf club. A golf club. At that point, I was like, you know, mm-mm, mm-mm, no. I mean, if someone was threatening my family and the best they had was a golf club, whew, boy, they'd better, they'd better be willing to back that up, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm not going to go much more into this. Those that have seen this movie know what it's about. The ending, I thought, was just preposterous. I just I just really dislike this movie. For those of you that did, that's great. That's why we all have different tastes. But as for me, um, I rented this one, and I'm so glad I did because I never want to see it again. The next movie that I watched, which was a definite lift in the opposite direction, was Takers. Um, I love movies like this. Now, I should go ahead and warn you, this movie is just like every other heist kind of movie you've ever seen before. It is nothing new. There's nothing. I mean, it's not going to bring anything totally new to the table. As a matter of fact, one of the kind of concepts of the heist is ripped off from another movie, which I will not mention because if I do, then it will automatically tell you what you're going to expect. I don't want to spoil the movie. But I have to say, the acting in this is very good. All of the actors in it are fantastic. Yes, I love Paul Walker, and yes, I'm one of the rare few that like Hayden Christensen, but I thought that they did a fantastic job. Even Chris Brown was, was, was good in this. Um, the only complaint I would have in it is old Matt Dillon right there. Sometimes people portray a character that's supposed to be a good guy, and they just go so over the top that by the end of the film you're like, please let them get a bullet between the eyes. That, that would just make the entire movie. Um, he, he really overplayed his hand and he really got annoying. Um, and, and, may, and, and to an extent, I think he was supposed to because he's supposed to be this very driven cop. But he just just got on my nerves. <laughs> he really did. But Hayden Christensen, I have to say for me, the, the, the performance that I loved, I mean, all of them are really good, but I loved Hayden in this movie. I thought that he was just, when he first comes on and you can see he looks kind of dinky in his little hat right here and you think eh, what but he's got an action scene where he just kicks ass and takes names and it's it's probably one of my favorite scenes in the movie I really enjoyed it and it's just got a it's just what it is it's an action flick with phenomenal actors a pretty good story an interesting plot and um you know if you're in the mood for that kind of thing I think you'd enjoy it I, I did I love this movie as a matter of fact I'm gonna buy it for myself to put in my collection instead of renting it because you can see I've rented this one too so there's two really fast reviews of two of the movies I watched. We have Hatchet 2. If we have the opportunity, we're going to watch that tonight. I'm swamped. I have got edits galore to do, revisions. Just I've been busting my rear. Um, I also review on the side, and I have a couple of 
reviews that I absolutely have to do. I've put them off for far too long. So if you don't see me for a few days, I apologize. I'm keeping account of the days um, for your votes for what you want me to do regarding a prize. I'm already kind of thinking about what I'm going to get as the second and third place prizes. I really hope it's things people enjoy. I think I'm going to mix it up a bit. So it's not necessarily STF, but it has a mixture of both for, you know, everybody. For, you know, fun for the entire YouTube community. So we'll see how that goes. But anyhow, uh, I'm going to go. I've got to finish cooking dinner because my family is probably going to start beating down the door. Um, but I hope that you're all having a great week. I hope that I'll talk to you all soon and I'm going to keep coming by to visit your channels. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been trying to do that. So uh, have a great week and be safe and hopefully watch a lot of great movies. I'll talk to you later. Bye.